How's everybody doing today? This is Corey Lee's Boxing. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It's a new upcoming fun channel. Um, updates on all boxing news and updates. And uh, please donate to the PayPal if you feel fit. Yeah, wow. So Canelo versus Triple G, man. Looking like it's going to be canceled, man. Um, It's not looking good. Um, HBO did not promote the fight, um, with the Dillian White and Lucas Brown fight. It was televised on HBO. There was no Triple G or Canelo promotions, um, going, um, you know, when you, you're watching the fight during the fight, they'll promote the fight. It was none of that going down. And HBO is actually the one that's supposed to be sponsoring the, uh, the Triple G versus Canelo rematch. Um, I think it's called, um... Fat, um, fathom, fathom, um, the where you go watch the fights at the the movie theater. They pulled them too from um all um, movie theaters from watching the Canelo versus Triple G right now. So they're losing sponsors, and you know what I mean. Right now, it's not looking good. the the uh, The Triple G versus Canelo fight is in shambles right now, man. It's not looking good. Um, all, all of this is spewing from, um, Canelo Alvarez. He actually popped dirty for Clembuterol. Um, so yeah, man, Clembuterol is actually used for animals, um, you know, to help, you know, lower their fat and, um, build their muscle up. And, you know, that's exactly what, uh, Canelo got, got popped for. He blamed it on the meat that's going down in Mexico. He said Mexico is infamous for uh, clenbuterol in their meat. And he blames it on eating Mexican meat, um, preferably um, beef. So, um, you know, going, I guess going to the local taco stand, he's blaming it on, you know, getting popped for that, you know. And that's what he's blaming it on. And, you know, the WBC pretty much tried to sweep it underneath the carpet, man. And pretty much let everything go and you know what I mean you know gave him a little you know smack on the butt and you know was, you know everything was good but I mean I guess HBO and the you know the big wigs at HBO aren't buying it um they're trying to put out the right product they're not trying to have a cheater you know head card in a main pay-per-view card and um right now man it's looking like HBO might not be back in this card man they're actually pulling out right now he had Canelo Alvarez has a hearing coming up and um you know like I said man it's n it's not looking good for the Triple G uh Canelo rematch right now man and um you know I don't and you know from what you know from what Stephen A Smith saying and everybody saying about the card and everything you know Triple G needs to shut up and you know before you know Canelo pulls out cuz Canelo doesn't need Triple G Triple G needs Canelo and you know all of this you know and, and that going down and you know what I mean it, it, it's it's a lot going down with this man it's, I think it's more detailed than you know what I mean this and it's it's just crazy with you know everything that that's hitting Canelo right now man all of this is because of Canelo right now all of this, none of this would have happened if it wasn't for Canelo. And um, my personal opinion, man, is uh, I think Canelo needs to be, um, he needs to be reprimanded for this, man. I personally think that it's not a coincidence that, you know, Clembuterol was in his system. And my personal opinion is I think he did possibly cheat. You know what I mean? I mean, let's be honest now, man. Let's not live in fairy, fairy tale world. You know what I mean? This is a real fact. You know what I mean? And a lot of, a lot of. Um, you know, Mexican and, um, you know, Spanish, uh, preferably Mexicans, um, use this, um, and blame Clembuterol being failing their, a lot of Mexicans fail their, fail their drug tests and they blame it on Clembuterol. Let's be honest. A lot of football players, um, you know, meaning soccer players, um, fail for clenbuterol and I mean you know what I mean you know a lot of athletes in Mexico fail for clenbuterol it's a known fact um it's it's effed up that it's got to this point but um I don't really feel sorry for Canelo man I think he knew what he was doing the whole time and um you know I just think it's fucked up man because now Triple G is set out there you know trying to be the good sportsman that he is and trying to do the right thing and you know try to do everything the right way and you know, he gets pretty much a kick in the ass, man, and pretty much saying, you know what, 
I mean, you know, this is what happens when good guys, you know, try to do the right thing in the sport. They get, they get pretty much, you know, fucked over because Golovkin has a potential of missing out on a upwards of about $20 million purse that could actually, you know what I mean? The first fight, he got paid pretty good, but the second fight, um, from what I'm reading, is he's going to get paid a little bit better. And I mean, you know, I honestly think, man, this is a life-changing payday for Triple G, man. And it's kind of effed up that, you know, Canelo wanted to get an advantage and, you know. And like I said, man, you know, Canelo knew what he was doing. You know, straight up, straight up and down. We're all adults here. We all know what we put in our bodies. If you knew the meat was contaminated and you knew they had it, you know, Mexican meat has computerol and you're one, you're going into one, you're going if going into one of the biggest fights, if not the biggest fight of your career, and you want to tell me that you're going to just go to a supermarket and just buy the meat, you know, from from a taco stand and just eat it. I mean, you know, you're a multi, multi-millionaire and you know that it can possibly be contaminated. I'm not taking that. So the Nevada Athletic Commission has suspended the Mexican superstar pending the April 10th hearing on his positive test for Computerol, Alvarez does not have to appear for the hearing in Las, Las Vegas, though his representatives do. So April 10th is the date, man. Don't be late. And like I said, man, um, the Nevada Athletic Commission was the, were, were the ones that said that they were not going to have the tyson Lennox lewis fight. You know, remember back in the day, you know, and that was like pretty much the biggest fight, you know, biggest biggest fight in history at that time. Um and and it actually did not go down in um Nevada in uh Las Vegas because of the Nevada Athletic Commission did not um did not want it to go through. So they actually picked another venue. Um and that was the case about the Mike Tyson Lennox Lewis. But um, this is Corey Lee's Boxing, man. Like I said, please let me know what you guys think in the comment section, man. Please like and subscribe. And, and if you feel fit, please donate to my PayPal. The link will be in the descriptions. Um, so this is Corey Lee Boxing. Peace.